Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, some modular low poly buildings for our FPS game in Unity. I'm only going to make one or show you one example and then you can uh, just use the same workflow to create many more. So first up we want to create the first uh, level of the building or the entrance to the building. So I'm just going to go uh, shift A and add in a cube. Now go into edit mode and then while selecting everything press G and Z. And you can see that we're not snapping to the grid and that would really help here. So just press shift tab to enable snap during transform and then uh, just move it up. So it's kind of like this. And now you can press S shift Z to scale it on the Y and the X axis. And I think something like this will work fine to make this a bit better. I'll just make it a bit taller. So it's kind of three of these uh, squares and this gives us much more space to work with. Now I can just press Ctrl R to add a loop cut and I will pull it all the way up here and then I'll add a second one and add it just below that. Now I can take this front face with uh, face select mode. You can press Ctrl tab to do that or you can do it down here. Press G and Y to move it backwards. So somewhere like, like this. Something like this seems fine. And now we can um, add some more loop cuts. So I'll add two loop cuts in the middle. You can uh, press Ctrl R and then use your mouse wheel to increase the number and decrease the number. So two of them and then press S and X or X, sorry, to scale it down a bit to the size of your door, something like this. And then I'll add another loop cut around here. And then uh, now I have this face. I'll press E to extrude. And then uh, just right click and press S to scale. E to extrude once more and then just uh, move it on the Y axis like this. Something like this works fine. It's gonna look much better once we add materials, but I also want to select this uh, door frame. You can do that by uh, pressing um, Alt right click and then it will select the whole thing. Press E to extrude and then right click and G and Y. And now you have this cool frame. You can definitely add some windows to the sides here, but uh, it won't be necessary. Just so we can see this a bit better, I'll just go to the materials tab and add some materials. I will add one, it will be called main material, add a second one, secondary, and then I'll have the wood material for the door. First I'll color this one and it'll be white, maybe a bit gray, like this. The second one will be for the door frame, so I'll just select all the faces of the door, like this. And then I'll uh, apply the secondary material to it. And this one will be a bit darker, something like this. And then the wooden material, I'll just apply for the apply to this face, like here. And change the color to a brown, nice brown color, something like that. And that looks good for the first part of the, of the building. Now I will, in object mode, add another cube. Move it up to the point where it uh, kind of collides with this. And then again, press S, Shift, Z, scale it to the same size, and also move it up for uh, one, uh, one square, like that. And to this, I will add a bit more loop cuts. I will add four loop cuts, like this. And then I will add two more, um, like this, and press S and Z to scale it a bit. I will select these two, press E, and then I will scale each one of them, like this. And now I can select them. Extrude again and move them on the y-axis so they have a bit of depth. I will select these guys right here in the middle like this. Press E to extrude and then move them a bit forward like this. And now apply the materials. If I just click this plus and uh, then this tab right here, I can uh, get the main material. And another one, just add the secondary right here. And then uh, while having these guys selected, make sure you select all the parts, even the side parts right here. And then uh, assign the second material, something like that. Also, select these uh, frames right here for the windows or the glass. And then uh, also assign the second material to them. And uh, we'll have to create a new material for our glass. And then I'll assign it here. And make that like a bluish color, something like this. You can see that we have quite a cool uh, looking building. The cool thing about this is you can uh, duplicate this and then just move it up and it will look 
completely normal. I want to add a small detail to the bottom part. I will uh, create a new cube. Press S Shift Z to scale it like this. And then move it, try to move it to a good position like here. On the side view also to around here I guess. And then just move it up to make it look like a pillar. Press L while hovering over it and uh, then assign the secondary material to it. And you can duplicate it to move it on the X axis like this. And this looks much better now. And also the third part of the building that we have to create is the top part. So I'll just add another cube, move it up here. Press S Shift Z to scale it. And then I'll scale it a bit more so it has kind of a overhang. Like this, I'll um, scale. I'll uh, move it down on the z-axis to have kind of a flat area right here, and then I'll assign the second material to it, or the secondary material, and this looks very good. Now, of course, uh, in Unity we will only export uh, these three parts. I can delete this one, and uh, each one of them has to have its origin in uh, in the right position. Uh, move this top part down here. And make sure that it's kind of flat and then press shift shift control alt c origin to 3d cursor do the same thing for this make sure it's like flat shift control alt c and the same thing for this now we can rename them the the one i have selected now is the entrance you can call them whatever you want we have the floor right here and then we have the top part I guess doesn't really matter how you call them and before I uh, move on I just like to reset all the materials to its default um, color so I'll just change the RG and V all to 0 0.8 just so I can uh, assign these material in uh, unity now it's all uh, reassigned I will just select everything with a Press Rx minus 90, apply the location, rotation and scale, bring it back, go file, save as. I'll have this as building 1. And I'll save it, go file, export FBX, and I'll export it as uh, building 1. Make sure you click selected objects down here, and also apply the scale here, and export. That's it for this episode, hopefully this workflow helped you, and... Um, I suggest you make two or three more, so just, just so we have some uh, diversity in the game. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye-bye.